are some of the sounds that the meerkats are starting to make. <laughs> All right, it's over to you, please. You can move around a lot more easily again. Thank you. You have passed the test of all of them. Has anyone managed to count how many meerkats you see at this stage? 15, I think. All right, counting 15 there. Any other takes? 17. 17. Any others? 21. Ah, thank you. Right on the money. 21 at this stage. It's very difficult when they're all moving around like this, but this is one of the few chances that we usually have to get a count of the meerkats before they all leave to get breakfast. So again, please imagine you'd be watching these animals from hundreds of meters away usually. Okay, here come the babies, getting closer. They're going to start whining for food soon, basically. A begging call, we call it. All right. Next questions, please. How old are the babies? Thank you. They were born in early November, so just over a month and a bit. Yeah. How long does it take for them to, get, to come up? Usually after three weeks or so. They will be up reliably even on a colder month, but in summer they might come up after eight or nine days. The eyes open on day eight usually. One more point, you're welcome to download a slideshow I mentioned earlier. It has the sounds meerkats make and it also has baby meerkats on it. So you can actually see newly emerged babies. We have found that sometimes the meerkats will only come up after 18 days, 20 days. The new record in science for the species that we have recorded here with this subspecies was 44 days in September 2006 before they came up. They are weaned off their mother's milk after about a month to a month and a half. Right at the back here, this animal who's turning now, everyone can see her, hope. This is a very famous meerkat and I'm sure it doesn't matter one bit to her that she is of course, and it's very uh, non-scientific. She was born in 2001 and is one of the oldest surviving meerkats ever recorded in the wild. Litter sizes are from three to five. Average litter size, big litter six. World record we checked in the Kalahari Desert was seven from one female. So she's the sole survivor out of four. She was on Africa Geographic's front page magazine last year in May. Whole magazine cover, that was her. Very well known meerkat. All right, now what we'll start to find is some of the babies will follow older animals around asking for food as they start getting ready to move until this animal here decide it's time to go. If the group starts moving away in one direction, they'll turn and follow her. She is the leader of this group. All right, this is a key point here. The females are the leaders, not the males. It's a matriarchal structure. Females are the leaders. So it's like with elephants, dolphins, spotted hyenas. Females inherit territories from one generation to the next. They know where the safety of the burrows are. They know where to run to in less than five seconds when a predator arrives. They know where the best food reserves are, how these change, and where predators might attack from. Males migrate. The one on the far right here of this group, currently of 21 animals, arrived here in 2005, I mentioned. Meerkat, dominant uh, male and female, mate for life. They are monogamous. So that's about four or seven years. They don't get much older than that in the wild. So she's very old. She's been through droughts and floods and so on. These are her babies. He arrived here and is now her mate. There's no incest or inbreeding ever within wild meerkat groups is a key point here. The dominant male and female are therefore never related. Males from the age of 18 to 24 months or so migrate in search of unrelated females. Almost time for breakfast and we'll be able to move on. Just waiting for them to start to move. But of course the dominant female is not yet ready. Please notice as they move, the tails go up and the black tip to the tail is easily seen. And the bright orange beneath the subspecies tail is also easy to see. It's like a military convoy. The ones at the front, the ones in the middle, and the ones at the back bringing up the rear. All right. So once they've all moved on, we'll be able to follow along. Now in the past, it was incredibly frustrating. As I mentioned, it's three years or more, usually before we can follow a group. We could just watch them moving off like this, and that's the end of our visit. Today, however, we're going to actually follow them. All right, and they will show us the hidden world where all their sleeping burrows and bolt holes, etc., are simply because we're around them. All right, time for her to start moving off. Dominant female going, as well as the dominant male, and we can as well. Thank